Well, I think it's day 127 or 128 of the big wild year and I've left Canada um, for two weeks. I'm down in Grenada and I'm supervising a student group down here so I've brought the big wild year with me and doing the best I can to eat foraged and wild or feral foods while I'm here um, just as best I can under the circumstances. So I knew uh, coconuts and sea almonds would be a big part of um, food while I'm down here and I'd like to process some and take some back to Canada and I considered picking up a machete or a cutlass as they call them here um, but instead what I decided to do is I brought this packable axe from Ayuno they sent this to me to uh, try it out and I hadn't had a chance to use it yet back in Canada um, so I brought it down so this is pretty awesome um, there's the axe head, it's got some good weight to it, and inside the bag are all of the screw-on handle pieces. So you can have a short handle or a longer handle by putting the other piece on. It comes with a, and the, and the bag is really sturdy, which is pretty awesome. There's an emergency whistle and a ferrocerium rod. Not gonna blow that too loud out here. Um, and there's also a little bubble compass. That goes on the end of the ax and a nice little paracord wrist wrap. Um, there's also some camouflage tape that you can use to wrap it. And that all fits in this, so I just put that in my check bag and had no issues with bringing that down with me. So when you put it together, the threading is nice and tight, and then there's an O-ring that helps it to um, friction fit. So I've got that. And the other piece if I want a longer handle, but I've mostly just been working with it with the short handle. What I'm going to show you in this other piece is that there is also stowed away in here a knife slash saw slash bottle opener slash pry. Um, so that might also come in handy. I'm just going to keep it in here and put that back in the pouch for now. And we are going to husk some coconuts and we are going to crack some sea almonds. So the axe has a hammer back. I've been using that a lot for the sea almonds um, and the blade for husking coconuts. to be good at this. If you watch a local guy doing it, make it look easy. Um, I've never done this before, so I'm just learning as I go. And if I can do maybe three coconuts every day and dry them as coconut flakes or coconut chips and bring some back to supplement the big wild year, I'll be pretty happy with that. So I think um, one of the tricky things about the axe when you're chopping at something round like a coconut is if you have a glancing blow, the axe will come back at you or away from you. But if you have a machete with a long blade, um, it's still gonna stop on the round object. And that makes it maybe a little bit safer especially if you're working faster than I am. Um, but I found the ax pretty sturdy. I've gone through half a dozen coconuts so far and uh, it works real well. What I noticed, and obviously the ax isn't designed for this, so it's not a flaw on, on their part, 
um, but because I chop and pry and chop and pry it tends to want to unscrew on the handle um, but I think if you're just straight chopping there would be no issues finish up this coconut and then I'll show some uh, harvesting processing of sea almond. So these are the tropical almond Terminalia catalpa or catapa and when they drop they're green. I'll show a green one in a minute um, but what you want to look for is the ones that have started to lose their husk it rots away but that exposes the nut inside and then if you uh, have something solid to use as an anvil you can hit them until they just make that little cracking noise split them open and if you're lucky there's a kernel of nut meat inside so i went through about a bag of these yesterday with the uh, Ayuno axe and got a cup or more of the kernels. It's probably running about 50-50 for uh, whether they were duds or um, good meats inside of them. See so that one's a dud. And uh, just going through, so there's a pile of them here. These are the ones that I processed yesterday. And I also hammered my finger pretty good so I've got a nice blood blister on there that doesn't feel good when I'm prying on coconut shells husks um, but this hammer back so that's been working really well for this and it also would be great for driving in steaks uh, if you're pegging out a tarp or a tent um, and when I'm doing this kind of stuff the handle never loosens up on me so I've been really happy with it for that as well When they've got more of their flesh around them, they're a bit harder to hammer because the flesh absorbs some of the impact from the hammer. That one's a dud as well. Um, so they're best when they've lost a lot of their flesh. And then you just kind of get a feel for, or you hear the sound of, that's a dud of the inside shell splitting open. If you hit them too hard, you smash all the kernel. You don't really want to do that because um, they're easier to extract if you get them out in one piece. So I'll finish up these guys and then I'm gonna have to go and look for some more stuff to process because I've already basically now finished up everything that I had picked and I'll go look for some more.
So I'm going to work at getting bigger pieces out of here. And then with a vegetable peeler, I'm going to peel the brown skin off the outside. And then I'm going to take off flakes. And they are going into this metal tray. And then I'm going to dry them on the steel roof here. So the peeler <clears throat> kind of gets these just the right thickness for drying and I can either do them on the roof or in an oven. There it all is. So I just have to put that in the sun and then keep turning it over and I should have dried coconut flakes to take home. Pants found my sea almonds. Look at them all in there. So I'm gonna have to take some action, I guess. Not just rile them up, but uh, maybe I'll bake them in the oven and kill off those ants. Otherwise they're gonna run off with everything. There's my citrus brigamia peelings. Coconut peels, my mangoes are going very slowly and I'm going to switch those guys to the oven today as well.